ready to begin tonight. Um, this last week I've been, con or this last couple of weeks, I've been considering how we need to be careful to not ever find ourselves in the mindset of considering our own circumstances and trials as if they were more heavy and burdensome than everyone else's. It's possible for us to think of our trials as peculiar, when in fact it really isn't. Um, this can be an encouragement to us to know this, that all of God's people experience these things to one degree or another. 1 Corinthians 10.13 says, There hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. And 1 Peter 5, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom, resi whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But, God, but the God of all grace, who hath called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Everyone who lives God, a godly life will face opposition and hardship of some sort in their life. It's the lot of every Christian to suffer these things, and it's part of the fellowship we have in Christ in his sufferings. We must all carry our cross, and everyone will have struggles of spirit, temptations from the evil one, and everyone experiences some kind of trouble, whether it's discrimination or shaming from others they know or the obvious outward bloody persecutions. But no matter what type or measure, all of these things can seem as giants to the one who places their focus upon them. And that being said, we ought to be certain that the things we suffer are not byproducts of unwise decisions of us not living right. There's a great many of men in the flesh who suffer every day as a result of reaping the rewards of sowing to the flesh. So, for example, if you suffer won't because you are unwise with your finances, then don't treat it like an attack from the wicked one. These things aren't trials that, divide, that require divine resources to overcome. A man can tell you how to get out from under that. If we only focus on what is happening to us in the present, these things will seem overwhelming. But if we look forward to the purpose and conclusion of all things, we'll be able to put um, temporal things into the proper perspective. It's not glorifying to God for those professing the name of Jesus to treat every little thing they're called to endure as an enormous ordeal. I know in my own life I've been thinking a lot about our brother Given and how he's um, overcoming during this hard time. And our brother Jeff and sister Sherry Hostetter, how they endure the hard conditions of their everyday walk. And our brother Robert, who presently right now on his sick bed. They're all continuing to excel in advance because they see things from a proper perspective. Amen. They're looking forward. Amen. Perspective will allow these, even the uh, most hard of these trials, to be put in the proper light. Um, 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Amen. This affliction, brethren, regardless of its measure, is light, but it's only so when the weight of the glory to come is pressed upon our minds and our hearts. So as we begin our meeting tonight, brethren, I want to encourage us all to let the weight of this glory press itself upon you. Look unto Jesus, set your affection on things above, and press towards the mark. And as we do this, the things of this world and the trials and temptations and troubles, they're all going to seem as they really are, insignificant in comparison to what we have awaiting us. Amen. Now I have a prayer and then we'll um, begin with our songs tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as we open our meeting tonight, we pray that you would give us grace to keep our minds set on things above, that we would not be overcome by the things of this life, Lord, but that we would trust in you in all things. We want to ask a special blessing upon our brother Robert and brother Given tonight. We, we pray, Lord, that while their flesh is weak, we ask, Lord, that their spirit would be um, stronger than ever. We pray your blessing upon this gathering tonight. In Jesus' dear name, amen. amen. 